So right now it is mapping the room real quick and it's gonna go through each available room in the house and with the help of the LiDAR we will be able to map the entire house. As you can tell it's pretty quick what it does. When you start the app it asks you to open all the room doors, remove any obstacles on the way, and let it do its job. My previous Samsung AI robot was not that quick as far as I remember. So this one is pretty quick. Oh, it's learning all the rooms. Here we're gonna probably have a little problem here. Let's see what it does. Because it has a... Oh, look at that. I think it's able to get through. Let's see if it attempts to go over it again. The sensors are probably thinking it's a little too high. Let's see what it does. I think we're stuck. He's going to attempt to do it again or go around. Looks like he decided to go back. So this is the carpet I was worried about a little bit because my previous Samsung AI robot was a little wobbly on it. And the reason why is because it's a Persian rug and it's very thick, it's not high. So there's another obstacle here. It's the next level. You can see the whole lidar. Rays going around, they're bluish. So, what I like a lot about this vacuum, it's definitely slimmer. Definitely slimmer because the one, the previous generation was like a tank, so it would never go under certain furniture. Son's room. And it's done with this bedroom. It's going to the next. So I think it's realizing it's in the hallway. So it's mapping out another room. And so far it's been about four minutes, so it's not too bad.
it's interesting to watch the progression of development of vacuum robots because they used to rely on the bumpers when they would bump into something then they would stop and turn around and these new guys they rely on the sensors and they literally don't touch the wall or the door and they just literally stop within a few millimeters and turn around and go their own way. Finished mapping. Returning back. Alright, looks like it's done and it's going to head back to its station to get recharged. So it finally reached its destination. So let's see what it does now after mapping the entire house. Let's turn it around. It's going to back up. Find the map of your home in the SmartThings app. It's about 90 square meters to clean. And it will take more than 1 hour and 20 minutes. Now charging. Alright, so it gave us a little bit of information here. And that's about it. So if you want to see the comparison, this is the old gen built like a tank as I call it it's pretty fat so it doesn't go under certain furniture it can but for some reason it never did and then this is the slimmer version of the new Samsung bespoke AI vacuum another new feature in this one is not only the hot steam and mopping that's involved in here is the Bixby function is built in. So you can ask a question. You can direct it to go and clean certain areas. Hi Bixby. Hi Bixby. What's the weather today? Hi Bixby. What's the weather today? To use this service, you'll need to personal information authority settings. Open the device and agree to the terms and conditions on the smart things of your smartphone that you firstly connected. So as you can tell it's not very responsive as I would say, but we're still learning so we'll see what it needs to be more efficient. And of course, I need to give some access for it to access the location to give me the proper answers for the weather. All right, so this concludes the mapping video. And we'll try to make some other videos when it starts cleaning.